Hello everyone, welcome again in Ang Many Tops channel. So today we will continue our learning in Q&A session. And today we have a case about gas conning. Okay, this is our case. So we have a vertical well located in an oil reservoir with gas cap. All right, so we have gas cap here and we have the provided data. So you can see we have horizontal permeability of 110 millidarcy and then vertical permeability, oil relative permeability, all right, 0.85 and oil density, gas density. Usually we have oil gravity and oil or gas gravity. So we need to convert the gravity into density, but now we already have the density and we also have oil viscosity, 0.73 centipoys oil formation volume factor 1.1, oil column thickness H of 40 feet with perforated interval HP of 15 feet, and the distance between the GOC or gas oil contact to the top perforation denoted DT here, 25 feet. And the well bore radius and drainage radius are also provided, okay? we have drainage radius of 660 feet, and we need to calculate the critical oil flow rate under gas conning condition. Okay, so this is our data, this is our case, but of course we need to check the diagram. All right, this is the schematic of our case. So we have gas cap, colored red. This is our well, and below the gas cap, already, of course, we have oil reservoir with thickness H of 40 feet. And this is the sign or this is the symbol of our perforation. Okay, this is the top of perforation. The distance between the GOC, gas oil contact, to the top of perforation called DT. And the thickness of the perforation interval is HP. So this is the schematic of our case. And to obtain the critical oil flow rate, we will use mayer garder method. But this is the important thing. Mayer and Garder assume a homogeneous system with a uniform permeability throughout the reservoir. By homogeneous here, they mean horizontal permeability is equal to vertical permeability. All right. But in many cases, or maybe in most cases, this assumption is simply not true. Usually, the vertical permeability is lower than the horizontal permeability, okay? But for the sake of illustration, we will use mayer garder method for this gas conning phenomena, okay? And for the equation, we will use this equation, all right? KOC is critical oil flow rate. This is the symbol for density for both gas and oil. Effective oil permeability, KO, RE, drainage radius, RW, well bore radius, H, oil column thickness, and DT, distance from the gas oil contact to the top of the perforations. All right, so this is the equation, the formula. Of course, it's quite easy, okay? It's straightforward, provided that we already have the data, okay? So let's go to the solution. Okay, we have the case, we have the data, and we have the equation. So we already have everything that we need. First, we need to calculate the effective oil permeability, KO. So KO is KRO multiplied by permeability, okay? So the permeability, the absolute permeability is this one, 110. So again, Mayer and Garder assume equal, equality between horizontal and vertical permeability. Okay, so the permeability, absolute permeability is 110 and the Relative permeability to oil, KRO, 
0 0.85. Okay, so we can simply calculate the effective oil permeability by multiplying this one with oil relative permeability. Okay, so 93.5 millidarcies as our effective oil permeability. Okay, then we need to solve for the calculate or critical oil flow rate using this formula. Okay, so let's do it. 0.246 E minus 4. So it's time 10 to the power of minus 4. We can quote as E minus 4. Okay, and then multiply it by this one. Make the second parenthesis inside this one. And then this is for oil density minus the gas density. Okay, so we can also refer to this equation. Rho O minus rho for gas. Okay. And this one divided by logarithmic natural ln of Re drainage radius divided. Okay. Okay. Divided by Rw, well bore radius. Okay, and then multiplied by its easy effective permeability to oil, 93.5 divided by, again, open parenthesis, oil viscosity, 0.73 multiplied by BO, oil formation volume factor, 1.1, close. And then open again. Oil column thickness H squared minus open H again minus DT distance between the GOC to the top perforations of this one 25. So you see H minus DT is HP. Okay. And this one. H minus DT or HP will be squared. And then close. Okay. All right. So this one, 21.2 millidarcies or not millidarcies, of course. It should be stock tank barrel per day. Okay. So as you can see, we can go back to this one. Yeah. KOC in stock tank barrel per day. Okay. As you can see, we have high permeability, right? We have high permeability, 110 millidarcies, and we have relatively thick oil column thickness, but the critical oil flow rate to avoid gas conning is relatively low, only 21.2 stock tank barrel per day, right? So you can see now gas conning and water conning is not desirable. Okay, it will limit our production rate. It will limit our flow rate because we need to keep our flow rate below the critical oil flow rate in order to avoid gas conning or water conning. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you understand. And please again follow the Engman and see you again in the next Q&A videos. Thank you.